Hello, my lovely Aries. How goes it, guys? This is Deb, and this is your TGIF for Friday, the 23rd of Feb, 2024. Aries, thank you guys for being here. Uh, let's get into this and see how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is an old one. I love it. It's a Gilded Tarot. I started off with this deck. <laughs> if you guys are ready, let's begin. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What have you got for Aries, please, Michael? Thank you. Friday, the 23rd of February, 2024. I don't know why I'm hearing silence on the astral plane. I'm almost getting silence before the storm. There could be a lot happening in the fifth dimension. The chariot, Cancerian energy. The ace of pentacles. The world. The seven of swords. And the fool. Okay. Aries, the way your person feels about you is that you potentially have decided to move. You could have left a relationship. You could literally have moved to a different part of the world. With the energy of the Seven of Swords, they may feel, Aries, as if you hid a situation from them before. And through fear of being found out, you've ended the relationship because you're telling your person you want to be single. But they don't believe it. You could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Virgo with a Hermit. This is someone who feels as if you've done a lot of soul searching and thinking about a legal contract or a Libra. And with the Ten of Swords, they may feel as if you believe they betrayed you, Aries, by making a judgment call about a Sagittarian. So Aries, what we've actually got here is two people whom, at a distance, betrayed each other. And I think the divine brought this to a close because there was so much karma built up in the situation. Fifth dimension, right? A perfect storm going on in the 5D. I think you and your partner, Aries, have been unfaithful to each other for quite a long time. Both of you keeping it a secret. And I feel the divine is making the judgment call to bring this to a close. To bring balance to the situation and to pull the two of you apart. Because this was simply toxic. So Aries, your person felt as if you left them to move to a different area, to close out the cycle because you deceived them and because you wanted to be single. But I feel, Aries, this could also be someone who offered a commitment to someone else at a distance and you felt betrayed, Aries, by your partner. There's been a lot of soul searching and thinking about a legal contract. Aries, there was no love in this partnership. This was to do with money. This was to do with obligations. This was to do with a family dynamic. And I feel the divine came down very heavily on this decision to stay in this toxic relationship. They've blown it apart because it had to be blown apart. 
there was so much karma being racked up in this dynamic that the divine felt they had no choice. So both parties were to blame. The Four of Swords. Aries, your person sees that you're healing. Queen of Wands. Moving to Karma Waters with the Six of Swords. With the energy of the Emperor. I feel whoever the masculine is, is now standing strong, wanting to act with integrity in the future. And there could be, with the Knight of Pentacles, either a younger earth sign that this emperor is involved with. In which case, now he's out of a relationship, he can offer this earth sign a proper commitment. Or this could be divorce, a settlement given by the husband to the wife. And this is both of them agreeing that this situation should just be closed out. There may be a child in the mix with a page of pentacles or there could be someone here moving towards a lover, maybe to apologise. With the energy of the two of swords, they may be blocked. High priestess. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel whoever the lover was, on the feminine side or the masculine side, has decided to move forward into a new cycle, potentially to be with somebody else. So one of these two areas, either you or your partner, may, after the split is finalised, when this relationship is totally dissolved, one of you may try to go back to a past lover. But I feel this lover, whoever this is, is blocking union because they're using their intuition that they should simply leave this behind and move into a new cycle themselves. So what we have here, Aries, is actually the divine getting involved with blowing up a situation that wasn't built on love, it was built on financial stability and obligation. I think the divine wants the feminine in the mix to heal and to think about her behaviour in a long-term relationship. I feel the divine wants the masculine to consider stepping into his integrity and to sit in a much more mature energy and act from a place of love. I feel the divine is helping those that were connected as third parties to these two people. The divine is helping those third parties heal and move forwards in new directions. So everything has been disbanded and healed. Aries, big reading. Big reading. Let's have a look to see what the angels have to say. Choose a new direction. I feel all of these people individually, the masculine and their lover, the feminine and their lover, are being separated and advised to move in new directions on different paths. If you believe. The angels want all of these people to believe in love. I feel the divine wants all of these people to believe in the power of spirit, believe in the divine, believe in the concept of unconditional love. The angels are guiding all of the people involved here to listen to their individual intuitions and to choose different paths. Everyone involved will be given guidance by the angels in the form of messages, signs from spirit. The divine is asking everyone to sit in the energy of forgiveness, forgiving each other. Within the next few months.
so there can be a peaceful resolution for everyone involved. Goodness me, Aries. So I feel as if the divine doesn't believe that either of these two partners should be with their lovers. Karma needs to be balanced. I feel everyone involved will be forced to move in a new direction. And that is the divine's will. This is a very strong cross-watcher reading. Let's ask what the masculine wants to say to his lover. What does the masculine want to say to his lover? Regret. I wish this never happened. Okay. Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I caused. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. You're a better person than I am. Unworthy. So Aries, let's now see what the feminine wants to say to her lover. The feminine is saying to her lover, missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. The feminine is saying to her lover, forgiveness, I'm struggling to get over the past. The feminine says to her lover, soul tie, I always feel connected to you. The feminine is saying to her lover, chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. She's letting it drop. Everyone involved is now moving in different directions. So Aries, this is a very unusual reading. From here, let's move into a second spread. Let's have a look at what the future is going to bring for the masculine. We'll look at what the future is going to bring for the feminine and for the two lovers involved. OK, so I'll see you guys in the second reading. So Aries, this is the second part of your reading. We have the energy of the emperor and his mistress. And we have the energy of the empress and her lover. OK. Archangel Michael, what is the future, please, for the emperor? What is the future of the emperor? Thank you, Michael. The Eight of Swords. The Emperor is going to be in his head about what happened. The Queen of Swords. He may be considering moving towards an Aquarius Libra Gemini female in the future. Knight of Swords. There could be an argument with her. This could be the lover's energy. She may be angry, understanding that the emperor is not going to commit to her after becoming single. Two of Coins. If the lover had no idea that the emperor was married, she's going to find out. And with the energy of the Queen of Swords, she may ask him if he is now going to commit to her. He may say to her, I can't think about that right now because I've just ended my marriage. It could be that this lover is a Capricorn or it could be that what the masculine is thinking about is he does not want to get into any toxic relationships in the future. He may be gun shy. He may still be learning his lesson. Let's have a look at the future of this Queen of Wands. She was the other woman to the Emperor. So let's have a look at the Emperor's lover. What is her future, Michael? What is her future?
the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, she's angry, she feels betrayed, the Star, Aquarian energy, but she's going to heal, the High Priestess, she's going to pull back and use her intuition, Pisces Cancerian energy, and I feel with the Three of Pentacles, She's going to potentially work in partnership with someone or she could be concentrating on her finances. Now, let's have a look at the Empress. What is the future of the Empress? This is now a woman who may be divorced from her Emperor. What is the future for the Empress in the situation? Thank you, Michael. Ace of Cups. The Empress is going to sit in the energy of self-love. She could be meeting someone new. She could be moving forward with a Sagittarian or she's making a decision to choose new love simply. The Ace of Swords. She's going to heal from the past. She's cut out the past. This is a new direction for her. And with the Eight of Wands, there could be a lot of communication with someone that her long-term relationship is ended. And she may be communicating with an Earth sign King, a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, that she is single. She could be starting a relationship with a King of Pentacles. So she is not going to return to this King of Wands. So let's have a look at the King of Wands. This masculine was her lover. Let's find out the future of this King of Wands. What is the future, Michael, for this Empress's lover? He's moving in a new direction as well. He's been guided by spirit to do so. The Page of Swords. He's going to be receiving a difficult message of truth from the Empress that even though she's single, she isn't going to be moving forward into a commitment with him. He may be deciding to communicate with a Queen of Cups. He may be looking to move into a connection with a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. With the energy of justice, he could be also approaching a Libra. Or he may feel that he wants justice by moving into a beautiful relationship with a woman who loves him. They could be getting serious. Yes, she is his true empress. These two could be getting married. Two of Cups. He's going to be falling in love with a Queen of Cups and marrying the Queen of Cups. So Aries, what a story. I think from here, let's close off with messages from the Fortune Oracle. Let's see what the universe has to say. What is the guidance from the universe for everyone involved? Please, Michael, thank you. Phoenix, perfect. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Yes. Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Goals, progress is positive and personal goals will be attained. Judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Underneath the deck, angel. Perfect. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. The angels are guiding all four of these people to follow their life's purpose 
after Judgment Day. As always, Aries, let's close with a message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance for these four individuals in Aries reading? Thank you, Michael. What is your closing message of guidance for everyone involved? You created the situation. You have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. You created the situation and you have the power to change it. So Aries, I'm leaving the reading there. I really hope that it's helped those of you it's intended for. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye Aries.